So here we have the Audi A1 on a 61 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a three-door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls, as I mentioned, on the inside from there. And now that we've done a full circle though, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. On the right-hand side, the speedometer. Uh, we've got the fuel gauge over on that right-hand side as well. In the centre, the trip computer, which includes the total miles for the car. They are 23,057. You can change information displayed above that using buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have the buttons I was using just a second ago. We've got our stereo and phone controls as well. And in the center, the main screen for this car, which is where uh, you can power up your phone, uh, you can access your radio, uh, your media. So radio, for example, you will see that we've got FM and medium wave radio. All the movement I'm making on the screen is being done using these buttons here. So you can use the dial to do virtually everything on the screen. These buttons relate to the four corners and then you can access certain menus directly from in here. So for example, we can go to the main menu, we can use the dial to highlight media, which is where you'll listen to your own music. Push that dial in, top right-hand corner for source, and you've got all the different ways you can listen to your music, including streaming music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. And we've got SD memory card input, CD player, main volume for the stereo is just there. We then have air conditioning underneath that. So you can adjust the fan speed, the temperature, and the direction of the air. The air conditioning's off. Back on again, you can recirculate the air that's in the car as well. We can turn off our stop and start from down here, our rear heated screen. We have a 12 volt charging socket, two cup holders, and a five speed manual gearbox. The last thing I want to finish with is the paperwork we have for the vehicle. So you can see we've got two keys, the V5 registration document that shows this is only a two owner car from new. And then we have some service paperwork underneath there as well. Uh, this vehicle and any vehicle that we sell, if it requires an MOT within the six month period at the point at which we sell it, we will do that MOT for you as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Watson Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.